Hi, everybody. Welcome to Art with Carol, number 10. And we are going to continue our series on birds. Last week, we did the Stellar Jay. And this week, we're going to do a hummingbird. So you will need a pencil and eraser. Uh, I'm using pencil crayons, various colors. I'm also going to draw in my really fine Sharpie so that you'll be able to see it really well. And if you want to trace over yours after you draw it in pencil, then uh, with a Sharpie you can do that. I kind of like the looks because it um, this is all outlined in black. Um, and you will need a normal size piece of paper. Okay, so go for that. Stop the video. And then when you come back, we'll get started. All right, so we are back and we're going to make our hummingbird. And to start with, we're gonna have our paper lengthwise because we gotta add that flower in there too. First thing we're gonna do is make a little eye. So it's kind of, here's the middle of the page. It's kind of up a little and to the left. We need to leave lots of room for his wings and everything. And we're just gonna color that in nice and black, okay? Then remember we did this with the Stellar J as well. Make a little V, it's less than a finger space away from the eye. So it's about, looks like a pencil space, okay? That's going to be for the beak. And let's go ahead, remember they have really long, thin beaks, right? So let's make a line that goes from the top of the V and it's going to be a little bit um, downward. And then we're going to make a line that's going to go from the beak right into this, right into the V. Oh, my pen is not working very well there. And then another line to the end of the V. Like that nice sharp beak. All right. Now, remember you can stop this anytime you need to. Now we're gonna start at the top again of the V and we're just gonna come around this way to make his head. That is my telephone, I'm not gonna answer it. It's okay, it's just a fax. It'll stop eventually. All right, now we're gonna go from here. We're gonna go up and make his wing. So I'm gonna make a line that comes up like this. This is going to be his outside wing. And then I'm going to make little, little tiny curves all the way down. You know what that's for, right? That's his feathers. There. Then I'm going to make another, his other wing. His other wing is behind this one. This is called overlapping. So we're gonna make that overlap. We're gonna do the same thing, just little, little tiny U's to make the wing. All right, now we're gonna come back down here. We're gonna make the bottom part of his head and go into his belly. So we're gonna start at the, right at the end of that V, at the end of his beak. And we're gonna come around make a line like that okay so he's got a bit of his a little bit of a belly there then we're going to come around here and we're not going to connect those but this is going to be the other side of his body we're just going to come around like this and join up with that what have we forgotten of course we forgot his tail so let's make his tail come down on both sides. And then we're gonna do that same little curly U's. We're gonna make it a little bit pointy so it's gonna come down this way and come down this way so we have a bit of a point there. All right, now he's flying. So his little tiny claws, his little feet are all tucked in. So we're gonna make, there, just four little C's. Put a little line there for them. 
So he's got his paws tucked in, his paws, <laughs> his little feet. All right, and then let's come up here and let, you know how they have those beautiful collars and beautiful colors on them. We're gonna give him some colors in a few minutes. And we wanna to come to the back here and we wanna make just a little line going across his eye and to the back of his neck and it's gonna come from the front as well. So you know how when you look when you look at them in different lights, you can see different colors. There's always that shiny black in there, right? All right, now let's work on his feathers. So for his feathers, I'm just going to turn this a little. You can still see it. And I'm going to go from my little U's that I made. I'm just going to go right down like this to the tip of his body. There. Then I'm going to change the direction a little bit. There we go. Don't worry too much about if they're not perfectly straight. There, I'm going to fit another one in there. There we go. And then we're going to do the same up here on his wings. We're going to bring the first line down pretty close to the wing. Watch, stop there. Stop so it meets his neck. Now we're going to make some more little wigglies right here. See, so it looks like his feathers are there and this is the inside of his wing. Now we'll continue with this and we'll make all of his feathers. And they can be a little bit wider at the top, getting more narrow as you go down. There we go. There. And we want to try and make all the lines meet right in this area here. Okay, so you see how they're starting to get a little more spread out up here. That's okay. As long as they meet together in this spot down here. There. Okay, there's one wing. Now let's do the same with this wing. Start with the top one. Come all the way down, almost all the way down, then do that there. And then we're going to do the same thing again. Just pull out all these lines like that. There. He is done and ready to be colored. Can't wait to see how yours turned out. Okay, let's make a flower. So here, here he is. He's just getting ready to get right into that flower. So we're going to make just a little teardrop shape like that close to it really close to his beak and then we're going to do one on the other side this is a flower so it can it doesn't have to be exactly like mine let's make another petal here and another petal here and let's do one more in here that it touches his beak and one more here there, so it looks like his beak is right down into it. We can give the flower some little lines, little stuff in the center. And how about we give him, there, it's like a bell flower. So it's like a U that goes in, out, back in again, and then comes down around like this. Perfect. Okay, now we're just going to finish off that flower, give them some little parts where the, the stem meets, and now let's just make a little stem that's just sort of wonky pretty. There we go. Come back up and do the other side of it. There. And then let's give, let's put on a leaf gonna go like that and then on the other side just like that and you can put more leaves if you want to and we'll put our sides on it there okay 
So the next thing we want to do, we're going to start coloring, but before we do, if you like having a frame around yours like I do, we're going to do that right now. Let's just make a frame around it. Just so we know where we're going to color our background and where we're not. Hey, here's a fun thing to do. Let's see if you can see this. I'm going to bring this flower stem all the way down. I'm going to take one part of my frame and connect it to that side of the flower and the other part of the frame to this side. I didn't do that on the last one, but I kind of like that. That looks fun, right? Okay. And then I'm going to put my name down here. All right. Now we have to color it. So you can pick any colors that you want. Um, I'm just trying to think about how um, their colors are shimmery in the light. I'm going to first give them a little black pointy. There we go. Pointy beak. Then I'm going to give his head a red color. I want it to be a nice bright red. You know how they just really sparkle in the sun? I'm going to make it really, really dark. Really strong value. And then I'm going to give his bottom part a nice yellow. Oh, I got my yellow really, really sharp, so of course it breaks a little. There we go. Nice. Okay, can you see that? I want to make sure it's not scribbly. I want to fill in all my little all my little white spots there. Okay. Now, coming down, I noticed sometimes like I said, the sun starts shining and I think, "Oh, that's oh, he's a red one. Look at him." And then as I start keep looking, all of a sudden he moves another way. I'm like, "Oh, look, he has a really green little green chest." or some other color, a blue chest. So I'm gonna make him with a bit of a green chest here, just part way down. Then I'll make him brown on the rest of his body. So again, I'm just gonna blend that into the green. I'm gonna put a little brown up here because it always depends on how you look at them. Sometimes I'll be watching my hummingbirds with someone else and they'll say, oh, look, his head is so blue. I'm like, no, it's not. His head is green. It's because they're looking from one direction. I'm looking from another. And just depending on how he flies, moves, and how the sun hits him, they change color. So there's a nice brown body. And I've got a wooden table that I'm working on, and it's it has little grooves in it. So I'm going to go back over this and really cover up those grooves for my coloring. There. I'm going to give him a red tail. So I'm just going to come down like this so he has a really red underside of his tail and a really red top of his head. You can do a different color. You can make it purple. I've seen purple, I've seen blue, green, gold. You notice that? So let's give him a really bright red tail. And I think I'm gonna take my black and just do the tip of it black over top of the red like the bottom feathers are kind of black. There we go. All right, now I'm going to follow my green color. I'm gonna put a little bit of green right in here, but before I do, I think just so you can see the difference, you're gonna, this very first part of the wing is, let's color that brown. Okay, so that's the first part of this wing. And all the way down to there. Now, we all, now what we wanna do is, 
we want to color in here we want it to be really dark value coming up a little and then it's going to get a little lighter as we go because it's like this is the front of the wing here and then looking inside it's a little bit lighter and i'm gonna add some green just because you they always surprise you you never know what colors you're gonna see right so here's some green i'm gonna add in there and then it'll get a little lighter and i'm gonna do the same on this side just add some green that's going to be showing through. Now I'll color the rest of this brown. And I'm just going to mix it kind of right in with that green. It's not a solid line of green. It's just shimmering. And when he moves, you might not even see the green. Okay, there, and I'm going to color this side brown. For his other wing and I'm gonna mix in the brown with the green again make it nice and dark there there we go all right let's just do our flower I think I will do a purple I always have to check to see which one's purple and which one's blue. I'm going to make a purple flower this time. You can make your flower whatever color you want. Look at that. It just kind of looks really blue to me. But it does say violet. It's purple. Okay, so I'm going to give him a purple flower that he is getting some yummy nectar out of. And you could make it yellow, red, whatever color you want. You could even blend your colors. So I could take red and I could blend some red in there too. Look at that. That looks good. Yeah. And then I'm going to color the bottom of the flower. Like so. there. You can do it again any color you want. And then I'm going to color those little bits purple, but then I'm going to switch to green. I'm going to put a little green there. There's my little stem coming down and the leaf. And you can make this leaf just as colorful as you want and you can add a darker green in with it. You could even put some brown on it and you could put more leaves. You could have more leaves over there. That's up to your imagination. Now, last week I colored the background yellow. So this week I thought that I would just color the black, the background a light blue. So I'm not gonna color the whole thing and just, just it's so hard to get it looking just right. I'm just gonna start up here using the side of my pencil crayon and I'm making fairly big strokes as I go across. And the main thing is, I'm not, I don't, I don't know if you can see it really well or not. Let me pull it up here. See, I'm trying not to leave a bunch of white space in between. I don't want it to look like I just took a pencil and eh. No, we want to take our time. And, and even though it's kind of a scribble, you don't want to have a bunch of white in there. You don't want it to look like this. Okay, that's not a background, right? That's a scribble. So you want to take the time. Still using the side of my pencil. And I'm just going to go around like this. There we go. I'm going to go down a little ways. I'm not going to do the whole bottom. Come back up, finish filling in him. So then it gets the it gives the impression that he's flying in this beautiful sunny day with oops I went a little hard there and I'm keeping my 
my uh, strokes going all the same way, right? See that? I'm just going back and forth. I started up here and I'm just going back and forth, back and forth. And then I think that I'm done. So you get yours just exactly the way you want it. Don't forget to put your name on it. And you can take a picture, get someone to take a picture of it and send it to me. And I will put it on the school parent page of Facebook. So have fun. Talk to you later.